justice, justice. excellence in barbecue, and the American way of life, and the American, American way of life, may be strengthened and preserved forever. Be strengthened You're on your oath. First category, Favorite was five, loved the tenderness, the taste, and three was my least favorite. I thought the sauce was too thick. Number two was my favorite. I thought it was sauce real good, real tender. Number four was my least favorite. It had a lot of pepper on it. Conversely, I like number three and number four. I thought their flavors were a little bit bolder than some of the other ones, but they were all very, very good. Yes, they were all wonderful entries. Um, my favorite was probably number four. Um, and uh, like my colleague said, the seasonings were wonderful and bold, and I loved it, very unique. Um, number five was a little salty to me, and it affected the texture as well. And uh, Number two was would have been great, but part of my piece was uh, a little undercooked. All really great. Uh, number two, my favorite overall. Um, really, really tender, just great kind of balanced flavor for me. My least favorite, uh, number five, uh, a little sweet for my taste and um, seemed to be... Um, injected or something in the middle there that kind of was a surprise I thought our chicken entries were excellent today overall uh, the number one had a bit of a citrus flavor to it that was interesting number two my skin was tough and uh, my favorite was number three and the rest of the entries were very well also <laughs> perfect score so but all in all they were they were pretty good uh, okay I saw the first two were pretty similar um, they're cooked correctly but and had good sauce on the top but the meat that itself didn't have a whole lot of taste to it um, uh, the third one I liked a lot uh, it was uh, very moist and uh, I liked the taste of the whole thing um, Number four was a little overcooked, but uh, it had good taste to it. Um, and number five was a little undercooked. It was, uh, <clears throat> and had a reasonably good taste. We might have some of the windy conditions affecting some of the entries because I, I found that number three was rather dry and overcooked such that a piece fell right off in my lap. Uh, my preferences were one and six may have been perhaps a little undercooked. There's still some sticking to the bone, or five rather, sorry. Um, but I thought it had great flavor and it was very tender. 
Overall, as a whole, I thought the ribs were pretty decent. Uh, one and two were good, had a nice tangy uh, flavor, and three was a uh, good, complex flavor. Uh, four and five were also good. Of the rib entries, um, my favorites were two. It was tender, and I liked the flavor. Uh, four was a little bit overcooked, but the flavor was very good, and uh, five that had a good flavor as well. Entry number one was a bit uh, darker than the mahogany uh, color that I was looking for, so I gave that an eight. Um, entry two was good, but the uh, tenderness was overdone. Uh, the meat pulled off the bone fairly easily. Entry number three was uh, tasty, um, had a good chew, uh, not not too, not too uh, overdone. Entry uh, four had... Uh, a little darker color than I was expecting, but um, had a decent bite. Uh, the taste was not that great, though. And entry five had um, great color, had great taste, but was a little underdone. So that I had a bit of a pull. I would say uh, I had two that I thought were the best. I thought five and so the last one and three were fantastic. Um, uh, well, I thought, for example, they had the tenderness uh, where it was cooked just right, where when you pull on it and you bite into it, it, uh, it still has a little bit of texture, but it, it doesn't require much chewing to actually get all of the juices and the flavor. In fact, number three was interesting because it didn't have any sauce on it, but it was still fantastic. It was cooked properly and had you could really get the flavor of the pork out of it. Um, my least favorite, I, I thought actually overall these were all pretty good. Um, uh, I don't know if I had a least favorite. Um, okay, that's good. Yeah. Means they're good pork. Yeah, this was, this, this was uh, overall, I thought these five pieces were pretty good. Um, some were a little bit getting close to uh, mushy, but uh, I thought it was still pretty good. Hi, I thought number two had a very good flavor, but it was mushy. And uh, I thought that number five was actually very flavorful. It was the most consistent for me between the different types of cuts from the um, pole to the medallion. I judged uh, numbers one and two equally, equally well, and these were my two favorites. Um, the samples I had were both uh, perfectly, perfectly cooked um, and flavorful without being overpowering in any direction. There's a very well balance of smoke and spice, and uh, you know, no, no distinct flavors jumping out to overpower. And that maybe contrasts with my uh, least favorite, which was number four. Um, my, portion that I got happened to be a little fattier than the others and so I did not have a good uh, tenderness on that and also the flavor on that one uh, there was a very distinctive apple flavor which was nice but a little bit overpowering for my taste um, my favorite was number five the um, flavor was very savory and had perfect texture uh, my least favorite was number four I felt was a little overdone, mushy, and uh, not a strong enough flavor profile to really make it distinct. But overall, the pork was uh, excellent, and um, uh, I thought it was very satisfying.
the most favorite was uh, this one right here. Just had a good pull and had a great taste to it. This one, unfortunately, was the uh, most overcooked. It was real obvious because it just fell on the plate. And from then it was downhill. But okay. actually, the taste wasn't bad. Pass it across. Yeah. Uh, number one was uh, well overcooked. Uh, I had number three as uh, my number one pick. Number four was his uh, number five pick. Number one overdone, but it actually had a good flavor. If it hadn't have been overcooked, it probably would have done real good. Um, I actually liked number five for some reason. I just liked the flavor to it. Tenderness wasn't 100%, but flavor was pretty decent on it. Number three was okay. I like number five. It was cooked uh, perfectly, had a good flavor, moisture. It was ranked number one on mine. Uh, the first one is some of the best brisket I've probably had in a year, except it was a little bit overcooked, but the absolutely wonderful flavor. I liked number three. It was really tender, had a really good flavor, closely followed up by number five. And number one, while it had a good flavor, was really uh, overcooked and fell apart uh, really quickly.